All right, hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This is gonna be my full video unboxing and overview of the Fossil Q smartwatch. This is the Sport Edition fourth generation, so the newest of the Fossil line. And now this is the blue variant. They come in a ton of different colors. There's like pink, yellow, orange, red, blue, black, really everything you could think of in the spectrum of colors, which is really nice. I like that smartwatches are becoming more mainstream in the sense that they're not just going for a very luxurious, premium, expensive looking vibe. They're kind of out now, a lot of them going towards a sporty look. And I do like this look, by the way. So next to it over here is my Samsung Galaxy watch. You know, one of my most watched videos on this channel is my review of this smartwatch. And don't get me wrong, I still love it. But I'm going to be switching now over to the Fossil Q so I can get a full review of this guy in the near future. So. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend you do so, so you don't miss that in the future. So let's get right to it. Going around the box, something real too crazy, just a few little things talking about the Google Assistant, and that's the Fossil Q. Nothing really on the back either. Sometimes they show like what's inside, but they don't. So let's just get right to the unboxing part. We're gonna take out our handy dandy knife here, and we're gonna cut down one of these sides to get the plastic off. And we'll peel all of this off here. And we'll throw that garbage away. Okay, and then we gotta figure out how to get this open. I think it's just a flap. Yep, just a little flap here. It's gonna open up. And then we're gonna pull the entire watch out. And there we go, we got the watch and the band. And we got the things on the side, it's kinda cool. So, nothing there, but we have the charger on this side. We'll pull that out here. So. As you can see, it's not really a docking station like we got with the Galaxy Watch over here, but it is magnetized. It's just a little base that the watch will sit on to charge. And then we can just got rid of the USB on the other side. It looks like it doesn't come with a wall brick. That's kind of odd. Huh, all right. And we'll get the rest out here. So we just got some manuals, so Fossil Q touchscreen smart watch. And a yeah, little bit of a quick start guide. And then the giant manual here, a lot of pages, but it's nice that they still include those. Sometimes they don't even include that. So it is a little bit odd that there's no wall brick. I wonder if that was an accident because it seems like something should have been in here. But uh, yeah, I'll have to look into that afterward. I'll put it in text if I find anything weird, but uh, yeah, we just got the regular charger. So let's get this off of this main compartment here. So we're gonna pull this out of here. All right, and we'll just put this to the side for right now. This does come apart, but there's nothing inside. All right, and we'll just take this little thingy off here. Perfect. So here we go. We got the watch itself with the band included. On the back here, we got the heart rate sensor, the little sticker here to protect it. So we'll take that off, and there we go. And this band is very, it feels very silicone-y. It's really rubbery, so it doesn't feel very durable, but I'm probably gonna switch it out for something else, mainly because not a huge fan of this very light blue, but I love the look of this blue on the metal, so we'll take that off. And we got the nice, beautiful display there with the three buttons on the side here, all mechanical. But yeah, I like the, the shade of this blue on the sides, but not a fan really of the blue and white band, so again, I'll probably switch that out. So we're gonna charge it up, we'll get it set up, and we'll be right back. All right, so I got everything hooked up here and set up on the Fossil Watch here. And this is all running with the newest version of Google Wear. So as you can see, we got the Google Assistant on the left side here. Good afternoon, shows your weather and your time, and you can ask any questions you want. And you just swipe over to the right, it automatically goes to all of the Google Fitness applications. So you click in here, or the Google Fit, and you can see your step counter, calories, uh, your day-to-day -day or weekly, kind of situation with your workouts, heart rate, and your settings, all that fun stuff. Now, I'm coming from Samsung Health, so obviously I don't have anything in there as of right now, but when I do the full review, I will definitely go over all of the different sensors in the watch to see which one works the best, which ones aren't working that great, so on and so forth. So obviously with the heart rate sensor, pedometer, and all that fun stuff, GPS tracking, to make sure it's all working the way it's supposed to for a fitness oriented watch. If you swipe from the down here, we get our notifications. As you can see, we have a system update and then you just got some your other notifications. And if you swipe from the top here, just like on the Samsung Galaxy Watch, we have our settings. Now, sadly, at least for, to my knowledge, these are not customizable. 
I have not been able to uh, move these around or do put anything else in here. So what you see is what you get. Airplane mode, battery saver, find my phone, Google Pay. This is kind of like theater mode, but essentially it turns the display off until you hit the actual physical button. And then you have do not disturb. And then it shows your battery life and if you're connected to a device. And then a quick toggle to your settings. So it does give you the necessity ones off the bat, which is very nice. And then as you can see here, if you hold down, we can change the watch face. I'm using a Willow photo app, so it, it shows whatever photo I want in the background and my own custom text, but obviously there's a ton of pre-installed watch faces off the bat. And you can download any watch face from the Google Play Store application as long as they work with Google Wear. And then if you click in the middle button here, this is your app selection screen. So we have all the different applications for Google Wear. You can also use the scroll wheel to go through the system which is actually very fluid. It works pretty well. Pretty much the exact same feeling as you get on like the Apple Watch. I do kind of miss the rotating bezel that you do get on the Galaxy Watch, but all in all, it's, it's nice and at least it's different or at least an alternative to not having to touch the actual display and to cover up most of it with your finger. These other two buttons here are both programmable. You can turn them pretty much to work with any of your applications. So right now I have the bottom one set to go right into the timer. And then I have the top one to go into my music app. So if I were playing music on my phone, it would give me the play, skip, track, all that fun stuff right from the watch. Now, this does have a built-in microphone for using with Google Assistant, but it does not have a built-in speaker. So no sound notifications or making phone calls through this watch, sadly. So keep that in mind if you are looking at getting this. But it is swim-proof slash waterproof, so you can go swimming with the device without it breaking. So that is pretty much the biggest difference between this one and the Galaxy Watch here that I have. So is the rotating bezel, and then you get the built-in speaker with this one. Also, it is a little bit bigger in size. So this is a 42 millimeter versus 46, if you can see the difference there. Now, they're both AMOLED displays. They're both beautiful and bright, and they work great outdoors. But if I were to look at the watch and say which one looks more like a premium watch, I'm gonna go with the Galaxy Watch for right now. But overall, the Fossil is way lighter I honestly cannot even feel it on my wrist. It is that light. I do like the look of it. I like the different colors. Again, not a huge fan as of right now with the band. I think it more caters towards maybe the feminine side, but for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. So I did order a different one coming in the mail, uh, but I would recommend silicone, which is this one here for if you're going to be doing any type of fitness activities such as swimming, because if you use metal bands, they will rust or wear down over time unlike the silicone bands. So that is pretty much it for right now on my unboxing and overview of the Fossil Q Sport Watch. If you guys want to see a full review, please let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like to share your support as always. Hope to see you guys in the next one and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys later. Peace.